We should not have to be here today, though. But Canada's continued failure to address our housing crisis has left us with no choice. Chief Elvin Flett says St. Teresa Point's lack of housing forces multiple generations to cram together under the same roof. It is normal for our two-bedroom houses to be occupied by more than 12 people. And in one instance, we actually have one four-bedroom home which is occupied by 32 people. Michael Rosenberg represents St. Teresa Point and says there are two parts to the action, one addressing the past and the other the future. It could rise as high as $60 billion, depending on how many First Nations sign on. The past is compensation for hardships, hardships of the sort you've heard about today uh, that no, no one should have endured. And that means compensation for the First Nations for the loss of their communities through inadequate housing. It also means compensation for their members who personally endured those hardships. Rosenberg says the second part is about Canada following through on the treaty promise of housing. And so the future is about recognizing the rights that those promises have created. And if necessary, given the urgency of the situation, Chief Flett and St. Teresa Point will seek injunctive relief to compel Canada to recognize the urgency of the situation and the need for immediate action. Rosenberg says the next step is to get the class action certified in court. Uh, Chief Flett uh, and St. Teresa Point First Nation call on those who have been affected by this housing crisis to share their stories because ultimately as this case advances it will be about telling those stories uh, and ensuring that Canadians understand what is happening uh, in those First Nations that are suffering the most dire housing crises. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Winnipeg.